Okay guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be talking about music and how I think it really has a profound impact on our life in a way that we don't necessarily realise all the time. So, and this is both a good thing and a bad thing for us. Um, it's a good thing because if you know how to, to, to weaponise this properly, we'd really become invincible. Um, like really, it really can add a spring to our step, but at the same time, it can really, it's like bad news because it means like a lot of music that we really love listening to has a bad effect on us that we aren't really aware of. So I used to listen to lots of sort of doomer music, like very sort of, um, depressing Russian music, uh, which I still love. Like this music is really cool. Um, but I sort of realised I stopped listening to it for a bit. I stopped listening to this kind of music for a bit. And suddenly I found I was happier. And I was really reluctant to believe that I had anything to do with the music I was listening to. Um, but I really do think like music has such a profound impact on, on you. And, like... So much music today is really, really depressing. And I think it's very easy to, to just listen to that kind of music without really noticing. Now, it might not be like, uh, you know, it might not be Russian post-punk that you're listening to, but, you know, like Juice World, um, XXX, Tentacion, like, I don't know, there's such a big thing of, like, sad music at the moment. I think people are just listening to it with with impunity, like, they think it's not going to have an effect on their life. It absolutely is, guys. And, like, if you take a, a minute away from that kind of music, you'll really see, like, how much of a difference it makes in your mental state. So I think if you're looking to improve your mental health, one of the best things you can do is sort of have a fast from that kind of music. Um, like, try and find something new to listen to that, that's sort of uplifting. Um, and it really, you, you'll notice the difference. I think it's, it's quite pronounced. I think the other thing that's worth mentioning is a lot of the time this kind of music is kind of addictive. Like, I feel after a while I wasn't actually enjoying listening to the kind of music, like this kind of depressing music I was listening to. I was just kind of addicted to the sounds, the sort of sounds of it. Like, I just, I just needed to hear that music to kind of feel, like, I wouldn't draw an exact analogy, but it's not a million miles away from, like, how it feels when you just get used to drinking every night. And then after a while you just need that drink. Um, like, <clears throat> as a, maybe to a lesser extent, but I definitely, excuse me, um, I definitely noticed a similar kind of relationship that I had with the music. So it's something worth bearing in mind, is if you want to improve your mental health, take a step away from sort of depressing modern music and find other kinds of music that, that you can listen to. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not really going to give a full you know, you have to sort of find it out for yourself. But I think, like, a lot of the Motown music is just so, like, that's such a great place to start if you want to find sort of happy music. Or, like, oh, I don't know. Um, the music of the 50s and the, the Beatles and stuff like that. There's just a lot of joy for life that we really we just don't have. Um, and it's funny, like, I've really got... This isn't just true for de like sort of depressing music, but I think like, I've really sort of become apathetical towards a lot of sort of UK rap music, just because I think you listen to like a song like I don't know, "Stand by Me" or something like that um, by Benny King, and it's just where has that kind of s emotion gone? Like the only time you kind of get that sort of sound, that, you know, the only time people are talking about love, like that, you know, they don't talk about love in that way in songs anymore, you know. It's either just like drill music where it's like just really sort of obscene, um, insecure kind of just fuck, fuck the girl and, and leave kind of thing. Or it's like, um, you know, I'm such a desperate indie kid and no one loves me. You know, it's like we just lost the real sort of love out of music. Um, yeah, it's a real shame. It's a real shame. And I think 
the other thing is, yeah, I mean, it's just like no wonder, no wonder we're we're in such a bad position. Um, because I really don't think there's much like music has such a profound effect on the brain, and there's no real good example of what like music sort of embodying the right sort of like the stuff that people really need to hear. I mean, I know like you know obviously like a lot of you can take it too far. Um, you need the market needs to be free to do what it wants. So I understand that, but if you want to take a step away from like negative stuff going on in the world, it's like in in Sarsi, you want to take, you want to sort of step away from that. I think stepping away from the music is a great place to start. And like that's not to say you should completely dissociate, like never listen to modern music again. But like just just I think a lot of what is makes music really great is is um we just don't really see much of it anymore. I think it's a real shame. Um so yeah, because I think music should be a tool that helps you um live a great life. I think it can be that. And if it's not that, it, it's gonna be something that's gonna hinder you. Like you you want to use it in the right way, just like you want to be able to use YouTube or, or like you know our phones in the right way, you know, if we use them in the right way, they're really powerful. But if you don't really know how to use it and just jump into the fray without any really thinking it through, uh, you know, they're going to end up ruling us. So anyway, guys, I hope you found this helpful and I'll see you in the next video.